What's up, peeps? My babes here. Today I have a 25 millimeter top airflow RTA to show you guys. And this one right here was sent to me for the purpose of this review from Geek Vape. It is the Zeus X. The Zeus. You guys remember the Zeus single coil? Then they made a Zeus dual coil. Now we got the Zeus X. Top airflow RTA has a build deck that's how can I explain it? Two posts, but with four terminals, almost like the way the drop, the dead rabbit, the Aquatus RDAs are. It's got that same similar style build deck inside here. Comes with the bubble glass, comes with the straight glass. Packaging you guys are gonna see in the up and close. That packaging is strictly for reviewers. The retail version will come in a different packaging. All right, so let's not waste any time. Let's dive down, show you guys the RTA. We'll do a coil placement tutorial, cotton tutorial, Come back, vape it, and I'll give you guys all my thoughts on the Geek Vape Zeus X RTA. And here's the packaging. The Zeus X RTA by Geek Vape came in. And just to let you guys all know, this packaging that you see here is reviewer's packaging. The retail packaging will not be this packaging that you see here. And when I open up the flap, there's a little message here from Geek Vape from Mr. Justin. You can see there. Then we have this little piece of paper thingy over it, Geek Vape Zeus X. Flip that over, and there you have it. You have the whole RTA broken down, and it basically lets you know what each thing is. So you can see here the bubble glass is 4.5 mLs of liquid. Straight glass is going to be 3.5, yes, 3.5. Then like the base, your inner airflow chamber, it basically everything is named out. You get a drip tip here. Inside the box, you're going to get some extras. And those extras are an extra drip tip, as you can see there, a regular Ultim A10 drip tip. You get some cotton, shoelace style, a couple of coils. And the other bag is going to have all your extra O-rings, your tools, extra post screws, and so forth. And a 510 drip tip adapter. Start off from the top, as you can see there's your opening, got the O-ring inside for your A10 drip tip. A10 drip tip that they provide, one of them is this little stumpy style, low profile drip tip. There you go. Now... Take off your top fill, simply just unscrew half a turn and pull. And you can see there, there is your top fill. Now, sometimes when I do remove the fill, it all depends. See, right now I knew because I'm showing you guys, but a lot of times I'll do this. See that? And the airflow control ring pops off while unscrewing for your top fill. So, yeah, kind of wish there was a little bit more meat or somehow. There's like very little meat here, but then you have this whole piece going up on here. So yeah, you got to be careful with that. It's happened to me lots of times. Now when everything's all together to adjust your airflow, you're going to simply turn. You have your airflow adjustment. It does have a stopper, right? So it stops into place. Obviously, it's a top airflow RTA. Nothing on the bottom. The bottom there does say Zeus, some Geek Vape branding. You have a gold-plated 510. You can see there. Got the bubble glass on, 4.5 mLs of e-liquid. To unscrew this, you're simply just going to unscrew it from the base. And before we look at the build deck, check that out. One thing I want to show you guys, this uh, glass is very loose on here. Very loose, especially, this is clean, no liquid. When liquid gets on here, you got to be careful. If you're going to pull out your build deck, whatever, pull it out, swap your cotton, clean it, whatever, service it. You have to be very careful with the glass it doesn't just pop off on you. Especially if you're going to try and do this and remove that. Yeah, you don't want to do one of these and it just slides off. So, people are going to ask, Mike, what the hell did you just pull out of there? So, this is your airflow. Right here, you can see that. There's all your little openings for your airflow. And that lines up inside here. Let's see if we can pull this off. You're going to see the opening. You could see right there. See, if you look inside, you can see my finger. So, the airflow comes in through there. That's your opening, and then it gets through this, as you can see there. So it smoothens it out and makes it a honeycomb airflow, directional basically. So it brings it in there. So there you go. Your coils will be sitting right inside there and receiving the airflow. That notch right here interlocks inside here. And the way this works again is when this goes in, this piece will go in and it'll slide in. See right now it just slid inside those grooves that you see right there this groove here so it'll slide in and simply when it screws down it's going to be aligned with that airflow 
There's the build deck. So we have basically a two post build deck, four terminals, one, two, three, four. And you can see there it does use flathead screws. This is the section right here where your cotton will go inside on both sides. Coils I'm gonna use in this video are some Core Allergy Alien version twos. You can see that 0.4 resistance for one coil. So this is gonna be around 0.2 resistance, three millimeter coils. And with the coily tool, I like to cut it at 4.5 or five. Anywhere inside here would be perfect. And as you can see there, I have the first coil in position. And what I like to do here is after I have it in, I'm just gonna lift it just a tad. You can see that right about there. And I'm just gonna tighten the post. With that height right there, when I do put this on here, you can see it does line up with everything just perfectly when it's going to sit inside there. Obviously, you're going to make sure you don't want it to come out and hit this corner. So you're going to have it right around the way I have it right there. And you could see cutting it at 4.5 millimeters, you could actually see your lead down there that's just hanging down. It's just perfectly. It's not, You don't have to worry about it touching the bottom of your build deck. Here's a nice up and close look at the coils. And basically, this is the way I want to have them set up. So I'm just going to straighten that out. And you could see there where it's overlapping just a little bit over the build deck. Um, this part right here and a little bit over here. So this is like the perfect way to, perfect actually area to have these coils in. So this way when you do put this top piece on, you see here, this top piece, it doesn't touch anything on the inside or short out on you. Here's one more up close look at the build deck. And there we go, got all the hot spots out. One thing I do want to mention is this O-ring here, whatever you want to call it, gasket, where your uh, glass sits on, it's always pops off. It's very annoying. So when you guys hear me talk about it during my cons, this is the O-ring I'm talking about. All right, now that we got the cotton in place, I am using some cotton threads. I'm going to cut it right at the build deck. So I'm going to put the scissor against this platform here, just like that, hold it level. So we'll do it like this. I'm gonna hold it level, I simply just cut. And what I like to do is before I do the other side, I'm gonna set this side up and make sure that the cotton sits inside there perfectly. So first thing I'll do is I'm gonna give it a comb out, all right, cause it's pretty thick to cotton. This is gonna work on capillary reaction. So you wanna make sure it's nicely combed out. Then you're gonna grab your scissor, Give it a haircut all around to get all them fuzz balls out of the way. Next thing you want to do is grab your tweezers, grab that cotton, and put it right inside the hole. All right, so I'm going to do that. Now, if you see that it's not going in, that means you cut it a little bit too short. And that's what I was talking about to where, see, it's for me, it's going in fine, but I could give it just a little bit more slack. So that's what I was talking about. When you see how much the judge it to cut it there, that's where you want to leave this uncut. Do this side first, so this way you know now where you'd have to give it a little bit more extra on this side, and then cut it down, comb it out, and put it in. You know, so this way you don't cut it too short. And there you go. This is how your finished product should look like. There you have it. That was the Zeus X RTA. Let's go back up on top. Let's vape on it, and I'll give you guys my thoughts. And there you have it, the up close, Zeus X, RTA, Geek Vape, Mike, your thoughts, please. We'll start off with cons. First con is going to have to be the top fill section. Now, a lot of the times, maybe 75% of the time, when I go to fill this tank, when I unscrew it, pull it up, airflow control ring comes out off with it together. So, annoying. Then you have to put it all back together. It's a little bit on the annoying side. That's going to have to be a con. And my second con is going to have to be that O-ring. Remember during the up and close, I had pointed it out? The O-ring, yes. That O-ring where it's right over where the glass attaches to the bottom piece. That O-ring pops out easily. Wow. Especially if I want to unscrew this right now to get inside there, that O-ring will pop out. If you're not careful, you go to put it back in. You'll see the O-ring bunched up inside here. So, yeah, it doesn't sit... It, it would have been, it should have sat inside. It should have been seated better, in my opinion, a little bit deeper. And that's it. That's the only cons I can really find with this RTA. Other than that, it's all pros straight, straight across. Learn how to talk, Mike. Okay. So, uh, first pro is going to have to be, obviously, you get two tanks. You're going to get the uh, 4.5 ml bubble tank, and you get the 3.5 ml straight glass. 
don't have to be a pro. You get two drip tips pro, all the extras. You guys saw it. Cotton, coils, 510 drip tip adapter, Ultim drip tip, 810 drip tips pro. To some people, they might not like this short drip tip that's on here. You have the other one that you could use, or if you have your own drip tips in your arsenal, other 810 drip tips, they'll work on here. The top fill, it is easy to take off, but like I said, that con where the airflow control ring that's on there, airflow control ring is perfect. This, I could get in there, I could adjust my airflow, no issues at all. That's gonna have to be a pro. Looks of the tank, I think it's a sexy looking tank. Give them a pro. The build deck, super easy to build on, to wake it, everything. Pro all across there. Flathead screws, that's more of a subjective thing. Some people are going to like them. Some people are not going to like them. I personally like flathead screws. I have no issues with flatheads, but that's something with you guys. Yeah. But other than that, all we really have to talk about right now is the airflow and the flavor on SRTA. So I have it right now, fully open, 90 watts. My resistance. Now, this build that I have inside this RTA is different from what you saw on the up and close. The up and close build is in here which I have no juice in here. I just have it coils, the cotton. This is gonna go to one of my Patreon peeps. But anyway, there's a different build inside here. In here I have Aliens, uh, the C, uh, what is it? The Twisted Messes N80s inside here, Coreologies. It comes out to a 0.11, and I have it at 90 watts, fully open. Let's have a vape, you guys can hear the airflow. I have my microphone right over here, so you guys can get a good hear at it. Let's do it. Fully open, lots and lots of airflow. A flavor is good, but it's not like, wow, when it's fully open. This thing, when you decrease the airflow on this, it just gets even better. Me personally, I like it around halfway. All right, so halfway open right now. Let's have a vape, you can hear it halfway. Much better. Flavor's a little bit more intense. Now, another thing is, when it's fully open and halfway, for me, it sounds the same, the airflow. So a, that's a pro right there to where you don't get obscene noises coming from the airflow while you're adjusting it. Now, uh, what else? Cut it down a quarter of the way. Even at a quarter of the way, it's still got airflow. So this thing has got tremendous airflow on this. Tremendous airflow for an RTA. And it's a smooth airflow flavor on here that's the big thing people want to know what's the flavor on this rta mike if i have to give it a number of between one to ten for flavor i'd have to give it a eight eight point five for flavor so all in all i think they did a pretty good job with this rta it's a nice rta it's the zeus x and i think it's better than all the other zeus's in my opinion well you can't really count the single coil one this is the dual coil one but i think this one here is better than the dual coil version that was put out maybe a year ago, if I'm not mistaken, something like that. But anyway, all in all, nice RTA. It would have been nice though. That packaging, there we go, I got it right here. This packaging here that they sent us for the reviewers, would have been nice if this was also like the retail packaging. It's nicely laid out, but I understand this costs more money. It would just drive the price up more for this RTA. So, uh, where could you get it? All that info, everything. You're going to have to do a Google search. I cannot give you guys links. I cannot. Yeah, it's YouTube policy. All right, so you're going to have to search it. I don't know when it's releasing, whatever. Yeah, I can't give you none of that info. The only info I could give you is just my info. Stuff from me. It's all down below. Check it out. That's it. I'm done. Thank you. And remember, keep on vaping.